If you gay, you gay. If you really gay, as long as you're not being gay towards me, then it really don't bother me, folks. Hey, be gay. Do whatever you want to do. If you like it, I love it, folks. Huh? Wait, huh? Today for today we just doing a reaction video. I ain't really had like no other video idea, so I was like, I'm just gonna do a reaction. Today we finna be right to do all black men think the same. But I just want to see like if it's something that I can relate to. I am expected to have a big. D all right, now what I think stereotypically, I think the answer is yes. I think they're all either gonna go to agree or strongly agree. Ah, right, yeah, that's see, that's what I figure for. Yeah, I feel like it's a stereotype, and we know that stereotypes are. Okay, what you trying to say, fool? You trying to say, yo, we be like, personal. Hey, I mean, you see, being honest, fool. And how people need to realize that there is no such thing because what you do is you put people into a box where they're expected to live up to a standard. And I feel like it's over sexualizing little, black men. We got him. We found him, fool. We found him, fool. It's him. See, this the problem, fool. Females can sexualize all they want, fool, and never like nothing, but nothing ever. They'll never get criticized, none of that, fool. But we do the same thing, and it's the end of the world. It's a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> for he look like a uh, ugly guy. For and what is this Frederick Douglass ass haircut? For like what's for what is this boy? But now nah, I was saying for he look like ugly guy for or like Zion Williamson. Black men cheat on their significant others far more than other races. I'm just like, where is this study published? Bro, so I'm gonna disagree for like I want to know. Let me see if I can look that up. What race of men cheat? the most see i can't even find nothing that like actually justifies that statement for like i don't see no percentages all right so let's say some 22 percent of ever married blacks said that they cheated on their spouse compared with 16 of whites and 13 percent of hispanics and among black men the rate is the highest 28 percent all right now look all right look but i gotta counter that look that's what they said like that's that's more so that black men was willing to say that they cheated more that doesn't mean that black people cheat the most for like you really that's not really something that you can put a number on you see what i'm saying because it's just based on what other people say so i'm, I'm gonna still make my statement validated that black men don't cheat though. the reason why it was going to be neutral is because i don't know the numbers like exactly. i don't that's know that's what i'm saying that's why i'm like i don't yeah. disagree yeah. 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 so i can't exactly for that's what you said i just said he don't know the numbers for nobody gonna know the numbers because just based off what somebody said you can't you can't put a number on that black men are attracted to big butt all right all right now look 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 all right now i'm gonna say for me like it was just all about personality like for like and you may think that's cap but i'm gonna say for i'm not lying about that but me for i get like attracted to somebody's personality or like how they act but for their physical features you see what i'm saying like if i could sit in a room with you for and not get irritated then like that means something more to me than that you just dig whatever for like that means something more to me but i'm gonna say like in general i'm not saying i'm not because like like, no homo folk. If you kind of not, I think that's some, um, you know, you know, I ain't gonna say the word, but y'all, y'all know. In general, for I don't think it's just like a race thing. I think just men in general are trying to, you know, I ain't big boo. You, know, you want to see something, folk, but it's just like, I don't think it's something that's just black man. You see what I'm saying? We are so far gone from like the natural aesthetics of just a natural person that right now it's all about who has the baddest ass. Who ass is 25 pounds with two pound legs? You know what I mean? Like that's. I like that. I like what he said, for. But it's just media tricking y'all, folks. Y'all really pass up good females, folks, because they don't got whatever this like Instagram standards are. You see what I'm saying, for? Like, bro, y'all gotta open y'all mind. I mean, a nice ass is just a nice ass, though. I will agree with him on that, folks. He ain't never laugh, folks. He ain't never laugh. Black people are funny, and if you ever try and roast one of them, they will roast your ass so hard that you'll have no roast to rebuttal. I gotta agree. I don't know why black people are just naturally funny, folks. And it's like no diss to like white YouTubers folk, but like if I watch a white YouTuber folk, they just be so dropped. Black people as a whole, like yeah, they got jokes, you know, it goes yeah. back and forth. Cool. That's why. I yeah, I think I think okay, yeah, I, I like what he, how he put it. As a whole, I think we like really, I think we probably one of the funniest races, but like no bad for like. But if you got Facebook folk, just go on Facebook, follow like a whole bunch of hood niggas from Chicago for just friend or folk. You gonna see the funniest shit, like bro. On Facebook folk, I didn't see the most like funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Individually, people are not as funny like when they not in a group. I say individually visually not every black person funny but i feel like but i feel like as a group looking at it as a group every black person is funny. the n-word should stop being used 
by all races. To me, it don't really bother me when people that's not black say it. Now, like, should they say it? No. Not necessarily somebody I know, but somebody I'm cool with. Let's say they like Mexican or something. And they come up to me like, what's up, my nigga? I'm not going to fight them. Or I'm not going to, you know, like, it don't bother me. I think it's also like geographical thing for people that grew up around a whole bunch of black people for. I can't blame them saying nigga or saying whatever for because it's just, that's all they heard. So they don't really know that, you know, that's something wrong or whatever for. What I support for them saying, what I advocate for them saying, no, nah, I don't want to advocate it. If you're going to say it, then do you, but I'm just saying, be ready for the consequences that come with saying that. I ain't going to press you over it. I ain't getting paid for that. Like, if somebody that's not black says N word, if I don't feel like it's coming from a place of racism, then it don't bother me. But on the other side, and I think I did a video about this. All right, I'm going to tell this story real quick, folks. If you want a more in depth version, I made a video of this like four, three or four years ago, right? All right, so it's like sixth, fifth grade, right? I'm at the lunch table, right? One of my friends at the time, I was playing with him or whatever, right? I grabbed this piece of something like that. I grabbed this piece of. He was like, stop, nigga. And I'm like, well, you say that word, boy, you better take that bass out your mouth, folks. And I told him, for I was like, boy, I'll slap the shit out you. I'll give you to the cow. Knock. But I'm saying, like, that's just an instance for where, like, you could tell when it's coming from a racist, racist intent. You see what I'm saying? Homophobia is a big issue in the black community. Now, look, I'm going to say this, folks, and it's really, I think homophobia is a big issue, folks, because black people are not really accepting of the fact that you can be gay. I think women are more accepting of it, but it's mainly black men. I don't really care. Like, if you gay, you gay. If you really gay, as long as you're not being gay towards me, then it really don't bother me, folks. Hey, be gay. Do whatever you want to do. If you like it, I love it, folks. Huh? Wait, huh? What do you mean by that? Matter of fact, just act like I ain't say that. I don't understand the whole big phobia of, okay, what he decides to do in his free time or behind closed doors, why does that bother you so much? Why does that affect you? Like, is that like, folks, it's so funny that he said this. Like, niggas would be so bothered for, like, I'm talking about for, like, they get under their skin that they see a gay nigga. You can't be pro black and date a white person. I'm gonna disagree with that, all right, right? Similar to how I was saying, like, I don't date people for their for they physical features, folks. It's the same thing, like, for I don't look at you for your race, for I don't look at you for none of that, folks. If I like you, I like you, it don't matter. You could be white, Asian. Nigga, you could be a fucking alien, alien female. Just some black females don't get, folks. Like, the same way that they could date white boys, folks, they judge a, a black man for dating a white girl. You see what I'm saying? Like, they just, like, that's just the ultimate sin. I agree to a certain extent, but personally, me, I feel like if you're pro-black, you're pro-black for everything. Like, you're for the advancement of the race, you're for businesses, you're for everything I, black so so i right, so when you say you pro black right so you telling me if you find somebody that make you happy for they could be white i'm not just talking like about a specific race so i'm talking about a non-black person right so you telling me for you wouldn't go with them even though they make you happy for you know they make you happy deep down you wouldn't go with them and you would rather date a black person that you're not happy with for like that's basically what you're saying i'm not pro black but in my mindset like i'm saying if you're pro black you wouldn't find someone that's not wait so you not but but what is you? Okay, so first you say you wouldn't date somebody that's outside of your race if you pro-black, but then you're not pro-black? So why is you standing right there? Like, what? Like, what is you talking about? This nigga just sounds stupid. Like, Look at folks' face. Ah, I thought he bad. He like, he disgusted, folks. I currently go to therapy. I know what they're going to say is they're going to say black men don't go to therapy or black men don't vent. I'm going to agree with that statement. This part due to America, folks, because we so, like, oppressed. We feel like we got to be stronger than, you know, white people. Even though as much as I might want to, I can't sit up and cry, especially in front of people. Even though you should be able to, can't, I can't cry because, because I got to look strong. And I get that, folks. And I only get it because i'm the exact same way but i will not cry in front of nobody first of all i don't cry at all for like i, I probably haven't cried in like a year or two but not only that like for i don't vent i don't talk to nobody about how i feel for because it's just like you get that feeling that it's gonna get how you feel is gonna get used against you i think that's why black men don't vent or they don't go to therapy for i can't blame them for it for because i feel the same way anyway for i ain't gonna keep getting into it i just need to do something like quick hey we almost at a thousand for hey keep running it up hey shout out tiktok for even though i ain't gonna say i'm an advocate for it but if it's gonna boost my my channel for then i'll fuck with it so Anyway, be smooth.